This will go through how to port the fire example from the example project to a new C++ project. It is not recommended to use the examples from the example project in actual production, as they are just simple examples. The fire example, for instance, runs its traces on the game thread and can be quite heavy. It's always better to make your own solution for what you know you need. But because I've gotten requests for this, I've made this simple walkthrough, so users with little C++ experience can do this as well. Download the latest example project from the drive. Make a C++ project. Make sure you have Visual Studio installed and .NET. Activate the Runtime Vertex Color Paint and Detection plugin. Make a fire object type, as well as a oil physics surface. Copy the necessary files from the example project, to your project source folder. Generate Visual Studio files so the solution is refreshed with the latest. Exchange the APIs from the old, to your project. Also add physics core, and the plugin to the build CS file. Now compile and open the project. Create a blueprint that inherits from the fire example class. Then migrate a floor and basic material from the example project, as well as the fire particle. Then copy over all logic from the example project's fire example blueprint to yours, as well as the components. Now create all variables, and set them to have the exact same values as the example project. Remove the footprint decal logic as we won't cover that here. Make new bindings. The class to spawn has to be set to be the fire example blueprint you've just created. Don't forget to set the collision sphere to be object type fire. Copy the vertex paint material data asset from the plugin's content folder into your project.
then add the basic material there and set the alpha to be physics surface oil. Make sure the mesh is set to be CPU access true, and set it to use that basic material. Paint out some alpha on the mesh. Then set up some simple logic in the level blueprint to trace downward on it, with trace complex set to true. If hit, it spawns a fire example blueprint. It will then trace and spawn more fires if it detects oil. <laughs> 